Hello. I just got off of a team call with Lauren, the larger team call. I don't know if you guys caught it. She's going to share the link, but I'm going to speak to you just like um, she spoke to us because, honestly, I feel like she was strictly in my head the entire time. It was the mo it was the best call that I've ever been on because it was it was just reality. It was real. So I took some notes and I'm just kind of I just want to go through them. I realize that we're totally lacking in team calls and I have completely dropped the ball on that. But you know why I want to be honest with you is because I hate slides. I hate not knowing what you guys need. Nobody's communi communicating it with me. And I feel like trying to figure that out is more work for me, which I don't mind doing if I knew that it was needed. And even though you could watch the video and I could talk to nobody and then you couldn't record it or I could record it and you can watch it, I think it's so important that I have a team culture that I want. And that means being real, being honest, being raw, being us. And spending more time together and getting to know each other and what we're going through and lessons we're learning and things we're reading and things that are speaking to us, things that are not working and sharing ideas. And that's what I want our team calls to be like. Because honestly, and it's just like Lauren just said, if you want to train yourself in this, in like I did, if you want to train yourself and you want to learn whatever it is that you need to learn, you can train yourself and you can look it up. I, I'm just being real. You can find the training you need in the coach online office. You can go on YouTube like I did countless amounts of times. You can listen to personal development audio audible books. You can read books. You can listen to the summit trainings that have been recorded so you can watch them back. Honestly, what's great about this company is that everything is at your fingertips. You can listen, find anything you need to learn. You can have whenever you need it. So there's no reason to wait on me to do it. If this is something you truly want to grow in and truly want to learn, you can train yourself and be your own. This being your own um, CEO, this team, I believe, honestly, with all my heart, was brought together by God. You all have been handpicked and been to be on this team. And whatever reason that God spoke to you to choose this team to be on. I believe that that's what needs to drive this team. So if it's inspiration, it's because I encouraged you. It's because of my passion. It's if it's just because of what it stands for. That's what I want this team to remain. That's what I, that's how I want it to continue growing. I want all of you to know that you, your own are capable. God has put inside of you every single thing that you need to be a coach, everything. And if you don't know the answer to it, you can go look it up. You can go ask questions and you can find it. I am totally here for you every single step of the way. So you can ask me anything you need and I still will help you any way I can. But if you can't find me, if you want to learn on your own, go look it up. I love that we have that accessibility, especially with Lauren. She's giving you tons of stuff just on the Thrive page. And being real, being us, I am not a perfect Melanie Mitro. I'm not a perfect top coach. I'm not a top coach, but I will never be like them if I get to be a top coach because I am me and God has put in me certain things that they don't have that I, I'm embracing who I am and I'm learning that God wants me to just be here, guide you, lead you, but I can't do everything for you. And so I know that many of you are doing this. I'm just speaking as a whole, just overall. I just wanted to say this to get it off my chest. And I was totally fueled by it because Lauren, Lauren and I are so much alike and so different in so many ways. And it's so true. Like people just get lost in the complicated aspects of this. People make things look pretty, pictures, videos that then you get really, you feel insecure. You feel incapable of doing this on your own because it looks so complicated. And it may be, but there's no reason to be that because you're you and you need to do things the way you want to do it. The way you want to run your team and be who you are, you be that. If you are good with organizing and you're awesome with slides and you're awesome with um, calendars and you're awesome with, then do that for your team. But that's not me. I'm not good at it. And I can improve and I will try and be my best for you, but I will never be who I wasn't created to be. So... I want this team to be 
full of encouragement and inspiration and motivation. And that's bringing it all out there. I want you guys to share what's happening to you in your life on this team. I want it on the team page. I want to hear it. If there's something speaking to you, post it. If there's something you read, post it. If something happened to you, a discussion, a training you saw, share it. We all want to know what's going on and what's helping you to grow because chances are one of us needs the same thing. And I think that's what's so important of remaining to be a larger team culture. Okay. So I've been really spoken to lately by God. I've been talking about this. God has been really speaking to me about doing the next thing, doing just that thing. Stop letting fear cripple you. And I actually posted it this morning. So many times God tells you to do something without any sign and without anything. You just know you have to take a, a leap of faith and trust that he's there to catch you. And so I am a person who loves signs. I love to know God telling me, do this. And oftentimes he gives me that grace and he knows me well enough that he does sometimes give me that sign. But in the wilderness, when you're in there and you don't, aren't hearing from God, and you don't know what direction to go in like I've been for so long. He's asking you to step out in faith and just walk, go. Just like he told Moses as he's looking at the ocean, he told him to go. And what do you think Moses was thinking? How in the world am I going to go if I have an ocean in front of me that will drown me? And hold, he, it was quiet. It was quiet. And he, he went, he put the staff down, he took a step and then God did the rest. That's what he's asking of us. We need to go. So I got home and I started going. I just started messaging people. As I read my personal development, I went on a walk. I, I was fed more and I went. And I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to continue to do that. Because I feel like God is really telling me. I have this. I have notes here. Let me see if I have it here. Um. Don't ever give up even when it doesn't seem to be working, even when it feels like it's not working. Because it's not in vain ever if you're doing what God is calling you to do. If you feel like he's telling you to just go and have no sign or nothing, then that's you're doing it because God is calling you to do it. It's never going to be in vain. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter how scary it is. You're not doing it in vain. It doesn't matter if it's not working because he's working things out for your good. He's going to use that to work. It's, it's a win-win. So I want, I want this team to be a family. I want you guys to share from a place of as if you were sharing with your family and just understanding we're all in this together. We're all, we all bring so much to this table, to this team. And all of you, each and every one of you are a piece to this puzzle. All of you are a piece to the bigger picture. All of you are a piece of this family. It, and you never, ever, ever, I never want you to think that you're not. All of you matter. All of you are important. All of you bring something so unique, so special to this team. Even more, you were handpicked by God to be here. All of you are a part of this. So when you're doing a huge puzzle and you forget that one piece, you get so annoyed. You're that missing piece. You are the missing piece. All of us are the missing piece. We all have to work together to be, to be the larger picture. And that's how God wants it. And that's how he wants it to stay. That's how he wants us to be. So I want I want to encourage all of you on that big vision um, that very often we're not seeing. We're not seeing the bigger picture. We're not seeing what God is trying to do. But he's asking us to go. And we need to go. And we need to share what we're, what we're doing and where, what we're learning and how we're growing. All of you have such different, unique personalities and strengths. And if we can you imagine, like if we started being really active and we started bringing this to the table and Laura started bringing stuff because she's so good with um, meals and, and just being one-on-one -on -one with people, calling them, you know, um, if Michelle had, Michelle has something, Michael has something, you know, we all have something that we know we're good at, bring it. Bring it and that will be the larger picture so we can work together as a team and just grow and be stronger and and embrace our strengths and know that God is made perfect in our weaknesses. So whatever we're bad at, one of us can help each other come out of that 
and learn how to be stronger in that. Um, you all are your unique are your unique self and you have so much to offer beach body again this is everything to do with being part of the puzzle no, there is no cookie cutter of being a beach body coach there is no way that it looks and all of you offer such a critical role to this this company and don't compare yourself to anyone else because what it's going to end up doing is paralyzing you we are not made to compare ourselves to other people we're made to embrace our strengths and weaknesses as to how God made us. Whatever we're weak in, we draw from God and he uses that to, to strengthen himself. And, and then it pours out and we end up growing and relying on him. And he ends up bringing us up out of that. And I want all of you guys to know that. Uh, I know that, you know, it's, it's hard to have expectations uh, because it destroys you. It really does. You need to just go with what's being put on your heart every day and and be who God is calling you to be. Just be. Just be you. That's it. That's all that's important is just be you. Uh, I adore every single one of you. And I've been trying to find my way for the past few months. I have. And I'm back and I'm so excited to realize what we have to offer, not realize, remember, remember what we have to offer people. You're offering people freedom from illness, freedom from disease, uh, possibility freedom from being held down by debt, freedom from hours working in a corporation where you have to answer to somebody, um, freedom from a nine to five job, freedom from rules. You make your own rules in this company. Um, fatigue. You, we're offering that to people. We have that to offer people. And that honestly is saving their lives. And being afraid, you know, I, I was just, Lauren was just saying, I couldn't believe it. She freezes every time she gets a call. Sorry, not a call. A message from somebody asking for more information. I, I freeze. I freeze too. I was like, get out of here. You freeze. She's like, heck yeah, I freeze. And I hate follow-ups. Lauren hates follow-ups. I'm like, oh my gosh, so do I. I hate them. I hate them. But remember when we're doing that, to stop getting caught up in selling. We're not selling. And to build relationships and to be real with people and just, Hey, how are you doing? I want to learn more about you building on that instead of like letting that question of give me more information, freeze you ask them, well, tell me more about yourself. Tell me more about how are your workouts? Have you worked out before? What kind of workouts do you like? How is your nutrition? How are you eating? Is that where you struggle? And, and have you ever struggled with this in the past? You know, get to know them, get to know their hearts because that's all that matters. And then they start to trust you and we're loving others. Just like I say all the time, we're loving others and that's what we're called to do. We're called to love people. When you love people and you show them that you genuinely care, you're trying to help them be free from disease, from feeling tired and having no energy for their kids and, and just feeling crappy. That's, that's part of just being your best self. God is calling us to rescue people. We're rescuing people. We're called to rescue. That's what disciples do. We're rescuing people from the lies that the enemy tries to put on us every single day. We're not good enough. You'll never conquer this. Um, and, and if that's bringing the truth of the gospel to them while you're loving them and, and you're the only one that's caring enough to do that, that's shedding a light on the gospel. Even though they may not completely know it's that, you just be real and consistent. And it, it comes out. Um, be consistent and share that. And that's what people will come to you and say, guess what? I've been just, I keep following you and I'm inspired by you. I'm touched by what you say. I'm touched by what you write. And you really speak to me. And um, I'm ready for you to help me. And Pretend you're talking to that one person every single time you post and pretend they're on the other side of that screen. If they're not answering you, that's okay, but pretend they're always there watching you, reading what you're posting. Remember that they're there and that will help. That will help you remember your purpose and remember your why. Why this is so important. This is such a mission. 
uh, we have such a mission field and I underestimate it so much because I get caught up in the insecurities and the fear and the doubt and the enemy is trying to take me down on that. But no, God is bigger than anything anyone could ever say or do to me. And that includes fear, you know, courage. There's nothing great that has ever been done without courage. That means fighting. That means not believing people when they say no um, or not believing just being okay with them saying no. But okay, that's fine. You know, you're not ready. I'm here for you. And continuing that relationship, the enemy wants to take us down, really wants to take us down. And we're not sorry, but we got the power of Christ inside of us. We're unstoppable. So um, really not a, not the typical team call. Again, there's no reason why I should feel like I have to do slides. You guys are capable of looking up everything you need, whenever you need it, whenever you want it. Don't wait for me. I don't like slides and I don't think I should have to do them because this is me and I want to be me with you. I want to be real. I don't want to pretend to be this top coach who has it all together and is organized. I'm not that person. I'm sorry. I'm not that person and I'll never be. I have different strengths. God has put me to lead this team because of my encouragement, of my inspiration and, and stuff that he puts into my heart to fuel you guys with. That's why I'm your leader. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm just going to keep inspiring you. And if that's not enough for you and you need more organization and more stuff, go look at, go look for it. Do it. Share it. Oh my gosh. If any one of you is organized and has their crap together more than I do, please teach me how to be that. And if I can't learn it, give us tools. Show us, hey, this worked. Here's a copy. And maybe I'll be able to use it. Maybe not because I just can't get my head around being that organized. But you know what? It can help somebody else. So just take it and run with it. Be you and I'll be me. I will keep loving you, being here for you, inspiring you every step of the way. This is why I'm here, guys. This is why I'm your coach. Um, but all of you, I am running together with. You all are my partners. I am nowhere ahead of you. I consider all of you on equal territory. We're all on equal ground. We're all on equal footing. We're all growing together, failing together, and we are going to continue doing this together because that's why I'm here. I want to run with you, and if you just need me to be your rah-rah the entire way, hey, you know what? You picked the right coach because that's what I'm good at. So I love you, and uh, I would love to hear some thoughts. I think it finally all came together for me. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Um, you guys are amazing. I can't wait to see what God has planned for us. All right. Have a great day. Bye.